Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and it's time for another car chat. Okay, I haven't done a car chat in a while, a while, because it's cold outside, okay? First of all, I'm not trying to be outside in the cold, plus we're in the middle of a pomegranate. So on top of that, I'm not really trying to be outside like that unless I'm going to the supermarket or I'm picking up food, okay? And I'm in and out. I ain't got time to linger. So I'm not taking those long drives anymore and I'm not driving to work. So I am not in the car as much anymore. On top of that, all the snowstorms that have been happening, I'm not trying, no, listen, I'm not trying to be in my car being cold just to do a video, okay? I am very sorry, I apologize, but no. And I cannot even imagine how people are dealing with this in Texas right now where they're not used to this kind of weather. Like, I'm used to this in New York, like I can handle the cold, our infrastructure is set up to handle the snow, we have, you know, municipalities that do the plowing and all that, so I don't know how they're even, I don't know, the disaster that is happening in Texas right now, I'm just praying for you guys. If you're in Texas, I hope you're staying safe. I don't know like there's nothing I can do because the state is pretty much a disaster zone right now so it's not like you can ship things directly there so what I've been doing is trying to, to find um, different um, charities that I can donate to to help um, with the recovery but federal aid has been finally approved for Texas so hopefully they're on their way to recovery and oh my god I don't I can't even imagine how crazy that is, okay? So let's do our part and help out as best as we can to help with the recovery in Texas, okay? That's first and foremost. But I haven't been doing car chats because of all those things. On top of that, I am not really trying to be in the frame of mind that car chats require, you know what I'm saying? Car chats require me to talk about dramatic things and just be all upset and <laughs> I'm really trying to be zen. Honestly, truly, I'm not trying to get worked up. And when I do car chats, I get worked up in the moment. So it's not like it lingers, but at the same time, I'm still not trying to be in that state of mind, right? Is it snowing again? Oh my God, oh, okay. So today we are talking about something that affects me directly and that's why I wanted to speak about it. All the other drama that's happening in the YouTube and beauty space, I, I, I could care less. Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, Patrick Star, Nikita Dragon, Trisha Paytas, all of them are just inconsequential to me personally and at the end of the day, they're all trash. They're all trash so I could really care less about them and let's toss Patrick Star in there too they're all trash so I, I don't care about talking about them but this one affects my country and I am pissed off and upset okay this is about Kal Kalina Kuli Kulier I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right and I don't think I owe her any obligation or respect to actually pronounce her name right. I could care less what her freaking name is. Kalina Collier. She is a JetBlue flight attendant, okay, that went to Jamaica at the end of January for vacation with three of her friends. So four American girls went to Jamaica for vacation in the middle of the pomegranate, okay? And Jamaica has restrictions. You have to take a COVID test, okay? And it has to be negative before you get there. Then I believe you have to take a test once you're there because in order to get back to the States, you have to have a negative test result. That is the travel restriction. I've checked this because I want to go home. I want to go see my people, you know what I'm saying? I want to relax and I've checked the travel restriction and I'm like, nope, things are still sticky. I'm not trying to be out here, okay? So I know the restrictions. She knows the restrictions. She's a JetBlue flight attendant. She should be full of, fully aware of the travel restrictions to this country, right? But she took up herself and I friend them and them go to this to Jamaica right so they went to an all-inclusive resort I believe it's the 
Orange Coral Springs or the Coral Orange Spring Resort, whatever it is, the resort is not at fault, okay? So here she goes. She goes to Jamaica. She takes a test prior to going to Jamaica with a negative result. Then she takes the test in Jamaica at the resort. So they have to, again, have a negative test result in order for her to travel back to the States. So they take this test and it ends up showing a positive result. So guess what? Now she tested positive. She has to remain in Jamaica under quarantine for I believe up to 14 days or until she can um, present a negative result, okay? This is the protocol, this is the policy. Read the fucking travel advisory, that's what it fucking says. So this dusty bitch, and I'm calling that out her name because I am pissed off again, I don't care, okay? So this dusty bitch, positive and they put her in quarantine and she was pissed off about that because she is not allowed to roam the resort and go freely so she is mad at that so she goes on Instagram live and implies that she's being trafficked and held hostage at this resort her phrasing was that she's being held hostage held against her will okay this is what she said in her live and people ran with it now all of a sudden she's being trafficked in jamaica can you fucking imagine listen the pr nightmare that that is for that resort and for jamaica on top of it are you fucking crazy so because she tests um positive they're holding her right they're not holding you bitch you are in quarantine i know you're in america and you feel like quarantine means you just have to stay home but you can be out and about do whatever you feel nah that's not what quarantine is quarantine means you are locked down where you at stay in place you are not allowed to roam around and be around people you are locked down for the extent of the quarantine that's what that means google it what the hell is wrong with you so she's on instagram live inferring that she has been kidnapped it's pretty much what she was saying so much so that a lot of people got a hold of it and there was a hashtag started that was like i think free kalina or where is kalina because after that instagram live she kind of went radio silent so no one knew where she was people are like oh we haven't heard an update we don't know where she is blah 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 so she She's on Instagram Live, right, going off on the resort and the people there and going off on Jamaica. And she was painting the picture that she was in danger, like she was in a hostile environment, like they were holding her captive because she's saying that they have a security guard outside of her door. Uh, that is the procedure, sweetheart. They're gonna have people outside the doors of people that are quarantined so that you just don't go wandering the grounds of the resort and exposing other people to COVID. And here's the thing, this bitch is gonna talk about how, oh, um, I feel it within my soul, I feel it in my spirit that I don't have COVID. That's what she's going by, okay? Not the test, nothing. She's going by what she feels in her heart that she don't have COVID because she is asymptomatic. Now, if you know anything about this virus, there are people that will test positive and be asymptomatic, meaning you won't have a temperature, you won't have a cough, you won't have the symptoms. It ranges from being asymptomatic to mild symptoms to, uh, you know, being more sick and then really being sick and then to the level of needing hospital hospitalized, wait, listen, I can't even talk, hospitalization to the point where you can die. So there is a scale, okay? It affects people differently. So you can have a positive test result and have no symptoms at all, right? So they do the swab test on her. Then they're calling her to do another test. I think it's the PCR test, right? Where it's a little bit more accurate because the swab test can give you false positives. So they're like, all right, you gotta do the PCR test. So they want her to go to the hospital, but she has to go alone. Obviously, again, this is policy. You can't just be going with people. You have tested positive 
positive. They have to keep other people safe. Are you crazy? She wants her friends to come with her. They're like, no, you have to go alone. So she is implying that they're trying to traffic her and kidnap her. She's like, oh, I know what the hospitals are like here in Jamaica and Ray, Ray, Ray. Like really talking down about Jamaica like we don't have the infrastructure and the facilities available for her like excuse me like she's fucking rude first of all and then she calls her mother who is the real jamaican because her mom happens to be i think her parents are both parents are jamaican and her ass is just a first generation american and she goes to jamaica with all the entitlement that a lot of americans have when they travel internationally they think pulling the i'm an american card is going to save them from any kind of consequences for their actions just like how when these fucking pieces of shit go to Asia, they, they go to China, they go to Japan, they go to Indonesia, they go all over the place in Asia where they have tight regulations and then they violate these people's laws and then when they get locked up, all of a sudden call the US Embassy, I'm a US citizen. Oh, oh, you invoking that Karen real quick. It is so crazy to me that so many Americans, when they get in trouble, they all of a sudden become the whitest of white Karen that you can find, even though they're not even white. But guess what? Americans will switch it up real quick, okay? And become the privileged, entitled Karen that we have here in the States. Okay, listen, I've seen it in person, okay? I am an American citizen, therefore, listen, being an American citizen does not make you exempt from the laws of other countries. What the fuck are you doing over, like, listen, you go over there and violate the people's laws? And then you gonna talk about you're American, so therefore you shouldn't be you shouldn't be prosecuted for stealing from their stores, for public intoxication, for whatever, okay? Shoplifting, gallivanting, whatever their rules are in those in those countries, you don't adhere by them, all of a sudden you're American, so you shouldn't have to follow the rules. Are you what? Are you serious right now? It's just like people that go to Muslim countries and they're like, oh, why do I have to put on a, he a head covering or wear a certain garb? I don't want to, I'm American, I should be able to do what I want. No, if you're going to the countries, the first thing, I travel internationally a lot for my job, okay? Not anymore, but you know, for my job, the first thing we have to do is go through, we have a travel advisory, right, for each country and it tells us like what to expect like the cultures the custom the dress the mannerisms like what you're able to do and not do there are countries where women and men i know that i've been to countries where i don't shake the hands of the engineers that i'm meeting right because i'm female they're male i'm not allowed to touch them i know this i have to figure this out and this is available on any of the specific countries websites you can find these rules anywhere so when you're booking your flight and you're booking your hotel and you're doing all this and your travel itinerary part of that should be what are the rules and regulations and customs of that country okay so you don't go over there and insult the people's culture and their country and their laws so this dusty bitch go over there and I come create excitement as if Jamaica is beneath her. Like how dare they? I am American, let me out. I don't have to adhere to this, like, okay? And then she goes on to say, oh, I am, uh, I travel a lot. Like she just get to work, I jet blue. She just get to work. She's 22, just get to look at work, I jet blue. And all of a sudden she's a worldwide traveler. Well, if you were a worldwide traveler, if you were seasoned, you would know fucking better. But here she goes, she's like, I travel for jet blue. How come I come to Jamaica and now I'm testing positive for COVID? As if they're giving her a positive test so they can kidnap her and trade her into what sex trafficking drug trafficking this is what she was implying and this is what people online were running with and i'm like you know what a she give people people like she give people bad name 
she get people by the name and then when people are truly in danger and truly need help then it's like oh are they crying wolf because she was crying wolf like a motherfucker okay there is a lot going on in this world there are people that are truly being trafficked and truly in danger okay there are people that truly need this help and you your fucking bitch have them a dedicate them energy to you and your father's report because you upset say you test positive for bomb clad covid in other people in country and you think say you should be allowed to just do what you want to hello okay now she tested positive then she tested negative and so they're like the ps the pcr test needs to be done to clear it up once and for all so you're allowed to travel she don't want to do the test she don't want to do the test she call her mama and her mama go down there and create bare excitement right now the hotel is being very accommodating the the jamaican government was being very accommodating okay i think the mother was allowed to travel for free the hotel accommodated them for free for the additional days that they were staying there okay they were accommodating these people because of course having to stay an extended period of time is an added expense that people can't probably afford right so okay they are trying to do their best because i think this was their first covid case at that um hotel so they're doing their best right they're doing their part miss mama's over there acting like she is under duress like come on now just because you're locked up in your little room don't mean you're under duress she's complaining about the food that they're giving her She's complaining about them not like catering to her hand over foot. She wants them to make sure that they're cleaning her room, picking up her garbage. Do like nobody not that if you pick up after your miss. If you have the garbage in the room, put the garbage outside. What do you do when you go to a hotel? If I have food like from room service or whatever, I put it outside the door because guess what? Them are gonna pick it up outside for sure. I'm not leaving it in my room. It's going outside. So she complained about that. Then the next thing she's talking about how they have cameras in the room. This dusty bitch, Miss World Traveler, is calling the motion sensors in the room. She's calling them security cameras, okay? She is implying that these people are recording her and watching her every move in the room. Meanwhile, they're motion sensors. You see how friggin' ignorant people are? I swear to God. And then come on the internet, I create bare excitement. I am so upset about this bitch. I can't even bother. Next thing, them in at the airport now because finally she tests negative and them I send them back because I'm tired of them because they caused havoc, okay? The Ministry of, I don't know if it's the Ministry of Travel. Me don't know. Me don't know what the Ministry them call no more in Jamaica, okay? I don't remember, okay? The point is, the, P, the government was involved involved okay travel agencies were involved the hotel involved all of these people involved over this one dusty bitch who test positive for the covid come on now girl come on you should have known better you knew that was a risk that you were taking you knew this but yet you run got the people in country and because them no one let it out because the u.s listen they have to adhere to the u.s regulations you have to have a negative test to come back to come back. So, and I just Jamaica, but the US are telling us you can't travel upon a positive test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she create bare excitement. Listen. I'm just glad to JetBlue fire because she is representing JetBlue and she was, she on her Instagram, like her Instagram is public. She got JetBlue all over there talking about she's a flight attendant like Miss, Miss, I am sorry, but um, I kind of know the requirements for JetBlue flight attendants it ain't that high so stop acting like you in this big position doing the most listen re relax you can get trained to be a flight attendant everybody relax okay and Minosa she that travel upon jet blue flight benefits so if you didn't know flight attendants and people that work for the airlines travel for free they only have to pay taxes and free fee fees <laughs> And they, ha they can have a travel companion, okay, which is their spouse or partner, whatever, that also travels for fee e free, except for paying the fees. And then they have buddy passes that they can give their friends and families. They get a certain amount per year that then their friends and family can travel for free. It's on standby, but you can travel for free. If there's a seat available, you can travel upon it. I know this because I am somebody travel companion, so me can travel for free if I want to as well, okay? I know these things, okay? This is not news to me. So, I mean, no, say upon your travel benefits, you are travel. So, you got to people in country for free. 
bring your come below and friend them and then go to the people them country and create excitement you know what you deserve to get fire you deserve to get fire as a matter of fact you need to get banned from travel back to jamaica and you need to get banned from work at any airline because look all you carry on now this is on your history okay anybody can look you up and find out what you was out there doing causing mischief and being a hot goddamn mess so any other airline that is intended on hiring you guess what miss you probably are blacklisted right now because you want to go to people country and act the fuck up now i do believe that people who took this story and ran with it really blew this out of proportion and they're partially to blame as well because people are canceling trips to jamaica because of this okay the outcry because kalina they were like oh free kalina drug trafficking ah! So people are, of course, scared to go to Jamaica. Listen, Jamaica is no different from any other country. You have to be careful no matter where you go. I am scared to travel to certain parts of this country. Certain parts of the South? Certain parts of Florida? Oh, forget it. Texas? Don't even, mm, don't even get me started. I am afraid to travel while being black to certain places. Oklahoma miss me? No, man. Mm -mm. I went to Oklahoma once and listen, I was scared out my goddamn mind. Confederate flags were everywhere and I'm like, oh bitch, listen, you don't wanna be caught outside out after dark, okay? You can get shot while running being black in this country. So um, Jamaica is no different from the majority of countries. You just have to be smart about how you travel and you're not gonna go to areas that may look a little bit seedy and you're not gonna just wander off with strangers. Like you have to be smart about travel to any country. I mean, when I went to Istanbul, I had to be careful. One of my friends actually almost got into like a whole situation because he went off with um, this guy that was like, oh, come have a drink at the bar. And then, you know, they have the girls that come over and you're like, oh, buy the girl a drink. And you end up with a thousand dollar bill and you're like, what the fuck? But these girls are escorts. It's a whole situation. So you have to be careful and know what's going on in these countries before you go over there. But y'all taking it for granted and just traveling. Oh, I'm going to Bali. Y'all don't know what the hell is happening in Bali, okay? But the point is you have to be vigilant no matter where you travel to. So Jamaica is no different. Don't let this bitch scare you from going to Jamaica. Jamaica is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Just be vigilant. Be careful. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And the best thing to do when you go to Jamaica, honestly, to really enjoy Jamaica is to go with a native that knows like where to go. The cool spots, the hot spots, the spots that no tourist knows, like not bringing you to the touristy areas. Those are the best people to travel with. But you can still travel alone and do all those excursions that they have for tourists because those are still great. Okay, Jamaica is amazing. Don't let this know. What you're not gonna do is slander my country, bitch. And I'm gonna call her because she don't deserve nothing else. And I don't care. I don't care. That's what she is. Anyway, whoo, I am hot. I gotta go get eggs and bread right now. So I am gonna go. But um, car chats, I think I might do some more. I'm missing a nail, don't judge me. I might do some more. We'll see what topics I feel like talking about. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this situation. And let me know like what topics you want me to discuss in the future. And I will talk to you soon.